JFT, just fair and direct. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to JFT's weekly market outlook webinar for the week August, August the 23rd until August uh, the 27th. I am Harala Bospisros, Head of Research here at JFT, that will describe the most important economic releases and events on the financial agenda for the week ahead. But before we start, let's read our disclaimer. The content we produce does not constitute investment advice or investment recommendation, should not be considered as such, and does not in any way constitute an invitation to acquire any financial instrument or product. I will leave you a few seconds uh, to read the rest, and then we will jump into our analysis. Okay, this week seems to not be as busy as the previous one in terms of releases on the on the economic agenda, but still we do get some top tier events. The highlight may be the Jackson Hole Economic Symposium from which we may get information as to when Fed officials may start withdrawing monetary policy support. The preliminary PMIs for August from the Eurozone, the UK and the US are also coming out, while on Thursday the ECB releases the minutes of its latest uh, policy gathering. However, let, let's, uh, take, uh, let's take things uh, from the beginning. Uh, today, the most important releases on the agenda may be the preliminary PMIs for August from the Eurozone, the UK and the US. Both Eurozone's manufacturing and services PMIs are forecast to have declined to 62 and 61 from 62.8 and 61.8 respectively, which could uh, take the composite index down to 59.7 from 60.2. With uh, the Delta variant still spreading fast across the continent, a slight slowdown appears more uh, than normal to us. And to be honest, we don't expect the euro to fall much at the time of the release if the actual numbers come close uh, to their forecasts. After all, the ECB has already turned uh, more doish by changing its forward guidance to hint that interest rates are likely to stay low for longer than, previous, uh, than the previous uh, one uh, suggested. What's more, Euro traders may, may refrain from adjusting their positions and perhaps wait for the ECB minutes due out on Thursday for more information with regards to the ECB's, to the ECB's uh, future plans. Now, no forecast is available for the UK prints, so it remains to be seen whether a similar to Eurozone's slowdown will hurt the pound. Last week, the pound tumbled against uh, the greenback at a time when the financial world uh, turned to risk off due to concerns over the spreading of, of uh, the Delta coronavirus variant. Perhaps market participants consider the pound as a risky currency due to the UK's uh, large uh, current account deficit. That said, at its latest gathering, the Bank of England lowered uh, the threshold of when they will start reducing their stock of uh, bonds, which could mean that quantitative easing tapering may start earlier than previously anticipated. Therefore, this is likely to keep the pound in a relatively better position compared, compared uh, to risk-linked currencies, the central banks of which are forecast to stay dovish for longer. One clear example among the majors is the Aussie, as RPA officials have clearly signaled that the interest rates in Australia are likely to stay at present levels at least until 2024. In other words, although GBP USD could drift south for a while more, we would expect GBP Aussie to continue trending north. As uh, for the US, uh, expectations are for small declines uh, there as well, but we don't believe that this will be enough to reshape market expectations around the Fed's future, around the Fed's future course of action. We believe that uh, those concerns, uh, that we believe that those concerned uh, with the, with that will lock their gaze on the Jackson on the Jackson Hole Economic Symposium, scheduled for Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Now, on Tuesday, during the Asian session, New Zealand's retail sales for the second quarter are due to be released, but no forecast is available. At last week's gathering, the RBNZ delayed raising interest rates at a time when the financial community was more than certain for such a move. Policymakers changed their minds after the nation entered uh, a lockdown due to a new coronavirus, excuse me, 
uh, entered a lockdown due to new coronavirus cases. However, they signaled that they still expect to push the hike button before year end. The bank's uh, next gathering is scheduled for uh, October uh, the 6th, and uh, decent retail sales uh, could add to the likelihood of a hike then. Later in the day, we get Germany's final GDP for the second quarter, which is expected to confirm its preliminary estimate, and the US new home sales for July, which are expected to have increased somewhat. On Wednesday, Asian time, New Zealand's trade balance for uh, July is coming out, but no forecast is available. Uh, the durable, the durable uh, goods orders, uh, the US durable goods orders uh, uh, for July are coming out, while earlier during the EU session, we have Germany's IFO survey for August. With regards to the IFO numbers, the current assessment index is anticipated to have inched up to 100.8 from 100.4, but the expectations one is forecast to have slid to 100 from 101.2. This is likely to take the business climate index down to 100.4 from 100.8. As for the U.S. Uh, durable goods, uh, head, uh, as for the U.S. durable goods, headline orders are forecast to have declined 0.2% month over month after rising 0.9% in June, while the core rate is expected to have held steady at 0.5%. On Thursday, the Fed's annual economic symposium will kick off, but it would be held online instead of uh, at its uh, usual location in Jackson Hole, uh, Wyoming. The highlight is likely to be a speech by Fed Chair Jerome Powell scheduled on Friday, from whom market participants may get extra information as to when he and his colleagues are planning to start withdrawing monetary policy support. At the latest gathering, the FOMC kept this policy unchanged, but although officials repeated that they will keep the pace of their quantitative easing purchases unchanged until substantial further progress has been made towards their goals, they added that uh, the economy has made such progress and that they will continue to assess the progress in, in the coming meetings. Having said all that, though, at the press conference following the decision, Fed Chief Powell said that the labor market has still a long way to go, and that information is still expected to fall back. And excuse me, and that inflation is still expected to fall back to their longer-run goals. He also added that the timing of Tabor will depend on incoming data, and that they will provide advance notice before any changes. Something that may have put cold water on expectations of any. Uh, of an early tidying. Since then, though, several Fed officials, including Vice Chair uh, Richard Clarida, expressed a more hoggish view than Powell did, while the employment report for July came in stronger than anticipated. All this may have revived speculation for early tapering by the Fed, perhaps as early as next month. The July CPIs slowed somewhat on a month-over-month -month basis, but the PPIs for the month accelerated further suggesting that inflation may, may have not hit the ceiling yet. On top of that, last week, the minutes of the latest uh, gathering revealed that officials uh, largely expect to reduce their, monetar their monthly bond uh, buying later this year. Therefore, it would be interesting to see whether the Fed chief has changed his mind or not. Investors may be eager to find out whether indeed the Fed is planning to start its uh, tapering process soon, and if so, what would be the reduction pace. Currently, the Fed is buying 120 billion US dollars worth of assets uh, per month. So a 20 billion taper means that the program will end in six months and thereby allow even uh, earlier rate hikes, while withdrawing only half of that amount would take a full year. Another event that uh, may attract uh, some attention on Thursday may be the minutes of the latest DCB, uh, the latest DCB meeting. At that meeting, the bank kept all uh, of its settings untouched and changed its forward guidance, saying that it will keep interest rates at present or lower levels until it sees inflation reaching 2% well ahead of the end of its uh, projection horizon, which may also imply a period during which inflation moderately overshoots uh, that objective. As we already noted, this translates into willingness to hold rates low for much longer than the previous guidance suggested. So with that in mind, we don't expect to get any major new information from the minutes, but we will look, excuse me, but we will look uh, for any possible hints with regards to officials' plans over their asset purchase program beyond March, 
which is the current plant uh, and date. We also get the second estimate of the US GDP for the second quarter, which is expected to be revised up to 6.7% quarter over quarter from 6.5%. However, with all eyes locked on the Fed's economic symposium, we see the case for the GDP to receive little, if any, attention. Finally, on Friday, Asian time, we have the Tokyo CPIs for August. No forecast is available for the headline rate, while the core one is anticipated to have ticked up to minus 0.2% year over year from minus 0.3%. Later in the day, in the US, the personal income and spending numbers for July are coming out alongside the core PC index for the month. Personal income is anticipated to have accelerated marginally to 0.2% month over month from 0.1%, while the spending rate is expected to have fallen to 0.3% month over month from 1%. As for the core PCE index, no forecast is available. The preliminary University of Michigan Consumer Sentiment Index for August is also due to be released, and the, and the forecast points to a rise to 70.9 from 70.2. So, that's it uh, from me. Thank you very much uh, for watching and uh, listening. I hope you have a great weekend. I'm looking forward to seeing you here again uh, next Monday. If you are interested in more detailed and frequent analysis, you can find me on our YouTube channel from Tuesday to Friday at around uh, 8 o'clock a.m. GMT time. So goodbye and have a nice day. JFT, just fair and direct.